Here are eight strategies that you can apply to any business to increase your bottom line profit by about 67% and maybe even as much as 100%. So the eight strategies are all based on knowing your numbers, knowing your number of leads, how many you convert to clients or customers, how often each of them buys, how much they spend each time, giving you your total revenue, and then knowing what your profit margin is to give you your total bottom line profit, although there'd be overheads to take off as well for most businesses. So here we have 360 leads, we convert 55%, so we've got just under 200 clients. They spend 10 times a year on average, spending, uh, spending 500 each time, so your total revenue is just under a million, 990,000. And if the profit margin is 40%, we've got a bottom line here of 396,000. Obviously, it's not really the bottom line because we've then got to take overheads off, but just to keep it illustrative. So if we could increase by 10% the number of leads we generate to 396, the conversion rate to 61%, we would now have 240 clients, which is uh, almost a quarter more. We'll get them to buy slightly more frequently, 11 times rather than 10, with regular special offers, etc. And we'll get them to spend more each time with cross-sells and upsells and bundling. And we'll take our revenue up to nearly one and a half million. Our profit margin will have increased because we're charging more, uh, but we can also work on costs, so there's probably got even more scope for improving here. But our profit margin has gone up to 45.45%. Our profit has gone up to 660,000, which is a 69% increase. So it's over two thirds increase with just a few 10% increases in some key numbers. Now, how could you do that? Well, in terms of generating more leads, there's a proper way to do any marketing material including advertising. Uh, in terms of generating leads, if you had strategic joint ventures and um, you cross-referencing people, referring people, recommending people, various strategies there you can use. In terms of getting people to spend more each time, well an upsell or a cross-sell. So an upsell is where you get larger quantities bought and a cross-sell is where they buy related products or services. Uh, you could actually increase the number of your products, which again will increase your average sales value. And again, you can do that through either having extra products yourself or having special strategic relationships where you recommend other people's products and services. In terms of improving your conversion rate, if you had a downsell, which is a lower cost, lower value option, then you'll convert more people and you can then nurture them up to being full paying customers or clients. Um, if you have a proper follow up procedure called a drip campaign, then you've probably heard that people need to be contacted 8, 10, 11, 12 times or more before they make a decision to buy. So a, a revenue producing drip campaign is the way to do that. Uh, in terms of getting them to spend more again, you want to stop any discounting. And what you do is you bundle in extra value instead. So the way that works is if you're a restaurant, for example, rather than discount by 10 percent, you might give a free dessert worth 10 pounds or dollars where it only actually costs you one to produce it. So it's more profitable uh, and it also means you're not reducing your price. Uh, and you can also work on your costs and overheads by looking at cutting waste, uh, duplication, costs, unnecessary expenses. Again, lots of ways to do that. So you can see that making these small improvements in a few key numbers can make a huge impact on your bottom line.